I have seen people in old age today with nobody to help them. They walk alone as though they were never, they never had the privilege of youthfulness. And the question I'm tempted to ask is, what did they do with those days? Because at that time, the lean cows have come to eat up the fat ones. I told you, years can eat years. There are people today who retired as directors, CEOs, and yet they may not be able to raise 100,000 with honor. Because during their time of glory, they did not know that seasons change. There are musicians today, respectfully speaking. There are sportsmen today. Once upon a time, if you mention their names, people will stay awake. But today they can move around on the road and you see them and not even care about them. Why? Because seasons have changed. Is that true? once upon a time in this nation when you mention certain names once upon a time in africa when you mention certain names as powerful as these great men are look at men like reinhard bonke look at men like tl osborne look at men like um, billy graham as much as we love them the truth is whether we like it or not according to the law of seasons eventually they have gone seasons that means everybody who finds himself on the stage you better realize someone left there before you got there and realize that very soon the light of destiny is pushing you out now listen there is the deception that comes with these seasons of glory it makes you believe you will never leave the stage for any reason this has deceived men of God. This has deceived people in politics. This has also deceived parents. They forgot that these children will one day grow and they will be young. And they treated the children in an evil way. Many of them today are old and wrinkled and left alone by angry adults who were once babies. There are nations today who did not take advantage of their human capital to invest in the young people during the seasons of power most of those young people are now the thieves that cause mayhem in society there are people who rose in honor they never raised anybody in their lifetime they didn't raise anybody from their community they are the only ones and when the devil attacked them he got them alone because they had no support system learn the wisdom that comes from this mystery tonight pharaoh the dream is twice because it is established there is nothing you can do against it you can only build a system to overcome it hallelujah yes. it is a dangerous thing to once be relevant it is a dangerous thing that in your lifetime you are still alive and yet your life becomes a warning not a message they tell people if you want to go far please don't use this reference you are still alive and breathing are we learning so we know that there are alternating seasons in the life of anyone the moment you see rainy season rainy season comes with a letter from dry season i am coming the moment you see dry season dry season comes with a letter from rainy season i am coming if you receive the season and don't receive the letter that prepares you for the next season you will be in trouble the moment you see men celebrating you and saying wow triumphant entry remember one day the same people will say crucify him the moment you see people saying crucify him remember that one day john will also stand close to the cross listen if you master seasons you will remain relevant through seasons I'm speaking because some of you are in these seasons right now you can be in a season where nobody knows you you're a man of God who is being made by God nobody knows you no invitation no fame no glory no nothing 
and if you do not do anything with that season the day your season of appearing comes prepared or not you see do you know once upon in a time in my life i had the luxury to pray i could lock myself even if it's for three days at will and not come out because i had the time today i don't have that kind of time if i want to make that kind of time i will have to go out of my way many programs will suffer just because i want three days to myself changing seasons young lady now that you do not have children god says fast for three days and he said no you don't know the days that are coming you don't know the responsibility of the attacks that can come on your children you are enjoying the fat cows and god is saying pray young man you want to start ministry you are moving around with protocol god is saying nonsense sit down there are days coming you do not know the the demons that attack mantles and anointings prepare because where i am sending you to you will need power in the spirit for the kind of results you want can i tell you don't let people pity you out of preparing for great seasons sometimes people can love you too much they will say this is too much this fasting is too much this thing is too much they don't know the other seasons coming god says i want to take you and give you an influence with kings and the lord says go for another degree go for another program and they say it's too much and the devil is deceiving you and time is going don't say there's time there's time for everything but let me tell you there are when you buy a product there's something written on the product best before that means if you want to enjoy this product consume it before certain times imagine a man of 45 years going to primary school yes no knowledge is a waste but as far as i'm concerned if i'm the teacher that man will not write exams i will just give him p and say go because i know that he's most likely wasting his time there when the young people are jumping and rejoicing that man will be thinking of his child what is wrong with my child now season 